morning everybody from Kenora, Ontario. Everybody. Another day has come around the corner, hasn't it? That sun just keeps coming up every morning. We're gonna make this a good day. I've gotta go pick up a load here, and it only delivers on Monday. So when I'm filming this, it's on a Friday. I understand you're watching this on a different day of the week. It takes a few days to get these videos out sometimes. I apologize for that for that, but I'm trying not to confuse you. So we're gonna go grab this load. I'm gonna go home, which is pretty much kinda it's out of the way. It's a little out of the way. But uh, I'm gonna go home for the night and for tomorrow. And then we're gonna leave on Sunday to deliver this first thing Monday morning. Now, my wife Britt has her egg retrieval for our IVF process next week. It's either gonna be Wednesday or Thursday from what we know now. And I have to be home for that. So this is gonna be kind of tricky. We're gonna have to play it by ear. I'm gonna deliver first thing Monday. Now, if the appointment's on Thursday, I'm gonna run back up here, probably grab another one or run down south, whatever they have for me. I'm gonna keep busy until that appointment date so that I can, but I have to be home on that appointment date. And so they're aware of it. I've, I've, I've made them aware of it as far in advance as I've known. And I called them as soon as I knew as well so that everybody's in the same loop as this, as me. So next week's gonna be a little bit different. And we gotta go see the doctor at the fertility clinic. So subscribe, tune in, it's not just trucking on this channel, it is majority trucking, that is what I spend my life doing, I gotta feed a family. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you don't miss a video. Join as a member if you want as well. Like I said, I wasn't in any rush today, so it took me a little longer than usual. It's about noon right now. And I'm the last one here. We got it all tied down. We got this strap over the front here to prevent flapping of the tarp. Same thing with back here, prevent flapping of the tarp so that the corners don't rip through. 
tarps are really dirty. I know, that's the roads we live on. I keep getting new viewers. Oh, look at that. What are you doing here? Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Put that down here. Man, I gotta use my hand for this. Oh, come on, hook it. Hook it, there you go. That, ouch. Okay, that under there. Okay, yeah, I know, I keep getting new viewers on the channel that say, wash your truck, why is your truck so dirty? I live in Canada and it's winter time. If I would have washed it this morning, it would look exactly like that right now. That's just how it goes. We do wash our trucks. I wash my truck all the time. It just gets dirty right away again. And then we wash it again. And then it's dirty right away again. It's very exciting when I wash it. But it doesn't last long. All right, let's go home. good trip Blue. So I've got all my stuff here that's going home. I told my wife I'd be home in about a half hour so I'm gonna start with these lights. I'm gonna try to get them installed. These are my new lights for up here. These need to be replaced. They're still working now. I got them working but they've gotten old and I've already ordered the new ones. 
Hopefully these will be better quality. I've only got time to do one today. I'll do one before we leave on our next trip. I gotta get home. I told my wife I'd be home in exactly uh, two minutes. Show me, what'd you get? He was very excited. Had to show me right away. I haven't washed my hands yet, so I can't pick them up yet. Oh, my goodness. Look, it's cookie. Oh, wow. wow. Got baby bird. Still is his unibrow. Just rocking it. As nice. You can see. Yeah. But he has a case of pink eye. I think oh, probably boy. a little kid probably chewed the paint <laughs> off. I could repaint them, though, if I wanted to. But I don't think he cares. And then we got, we got baby Ernie. Baby Ernie. Then we got Super Grover. <laughs> I picked that up today because I had to get a replacement Big Bird. I found those used on Marketplace. So I went and got those. And he lives in a house full of babies, but he can pay rent, so oh, he has a job. He's the breadwinner. And then this is Assistant Oscar, also works at the garage. Okay. These came with the house for some reason, although they do not belong to the set. I know that for sure. In fact, they belong to a set that Josh had as a little boy, the Sesame Street Garage. Look at the size of that thing. It's just a mixing needle. That one does not go into my belly. That's like imagine? the size of my butt needles after we transfer. Your butt needles? My butt needles. You'll have to explain what your butt needles are to everybody. Uh, progesterone in oil. So it's like hormones in oil and then you have to inject them into your muscles so it like goes into like your... So you gotta inject yourself in your like butt? The side of your butt and kind of upper leg, yeah. The thing she does yeah, but do you see how good they turn out? And the thing she does for babies. In one month, he's gonna be one year old. So in one month, he's gonna be a toddler, not just a baby. Practicing. Yeah, <laughs> practicing. Uh, the clothing removal. He's starting to practice early. How many more you got today? Two more. Or three more. Three, three more. more. Yeah, I took one already. She had an ultrasound today. I did. It looks like the egg retrieval should be, well, today's Friday. It should be Wednesday or Thursday, we think. If not Tuesday, maybe. So within the week. So likely by the time you're watching this or around the time you're watching this, uh, she's going to be going in for the egg retrieval. They said you had what? Well, that's new. Oh, I didn't new see bruise? That. Yeah. These little, needles give her bruises. Little Easter egg basket. Just in time. Early Easter. <laughs> How many uh, eggs did they say you had? Five or six? I think like six. Yeah, all together on both okay. sides. My right ovary isn't doing so hot. What's six? Last time we had uh, 14, 14. But then we got six out and five were mature. Okay. So and the, then so only, five were fertilized and two made it. So only two out of 14 made it last time. Now we're starting, well, hopefully when the egg retrieval comes we'll have five or six and then out of that we'll see how many get fertilized and survive hopefully all does this one hurt hurts after oh, okay no the menopur hurts going in but the septotide hurts afterward it'll start to feel like little uh little wasps for a little bit, kind of stinging you from the inside out, kind of burning, itching, and then there's like a hard lump, and then within like half an hour or so, it goes away. So this will uh, prevent her eggs, because a, a woman's body usually just releases one egg, right? Yeah. And this prevents uh, eggs from dying off, so that there's multiple. Oh, the one I just took keeps me from ovulating, so it keeps the eggs from releasing from my ovaries, because it'll be a timed ovulation. They'll give me a trigger shot the night before the the uh, retrieval, and then that'll give them the good window of when to do the surgery. And I will be home for that, so uh, we're not going to be doing as much trucking next week. We'll have some more home time. I have a delivery to make Monday morning, and then... I might be running around for another day or two, waiting uh, for that uh, procedure. And then when that happens, I'll take her into Winnipeg. 
to the fertility clinic and we'll get that done. And you'll get me french fries after again. Yes. For those of you who watched the last one, you know what I'm talking about. They got to drug her up a little bit for this, so <laughs> don't worry. I will get her verbal consent before going in so that everything I show of her before later, you'll know that she approved that I didn't post that on the internet. The sober consent. Yes, I will get her sober consent because she gets a little goofy after. Last time I thought the <laughs> chiropractic office was a plant shop. <laughs> yeah. We want to go get some plants. Honey, that's a chiropractor. Oh. <laughs> Continues eating her french fries and ketchup one by one. Yeah, dipping. No, she was uh, taking a, she had a ketchup packet and she would take the ketchup packet and lace one fry, just at one, a at a time, with ketchup and slowly eat it. <laughs> while she was thinking about buying plants from the chiropractor. <laughs> it was a good day. So we'll see what happens this time. So, <laughs> so yeah, obviously I have to be home. I got to drive her home and then make sure she's okay that night. Maybe stay home the next day too, just to make sure everything's okay and that uh, uh, nothing you know, goes wrong or that she's comfortable. And then once she gives me the green light, I'll go back to work. And then it's uh, she has some more appointments after that, but I'll be pretty much working steady until the transfer, most likely. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna be staying close to home during this whole process over the next month. And uh, we'll get her all done. But where she goes, getting ready for another one. Here we go again. Man. It's so much easier the second time around. You just know what you're doing. There's very little anxiety. You kind of, you dread it more than get excited for it. But it leads to more Theos where babies just like them. I'm happy. Yeah. That's where we're at. Uh, tomorrow I'll be at home here. So... I'm going to hit the road after that, the day after that. But thanks for watching, everybody. You guys can hit that subscribe button. If you want to support our channel, it's the best way you can do it. It's free. Then you can tune in and hang out with me every day. Uh, most of the time, I'm in the truck. But some of the time, I'm also here. And this is also a big part of our lives right now as well. So it's all included in the channel here. Uh, hit that bell so that you don't miss the next video. If you're a member, make sure you hit the bell because that'll tell you when there's early releases and members-only videos. Uh, that pop up because you don't want to miss those if you're wondering what it means to be a member of the channel uh, that's going to the next level of support on the channel you can go and click the join now button below my video or on my channel page you can learn more about that there if you're interested if not if you leave me a comment down below that's good enough too helps me with the algorithm i'll see you guys tomorrow take care everybody she's gonna finish up her needles here and we're gonna get ready for bed I'm tired.